Welcome to Lotte Marcos! Hello dear travelers, today we will be showing you my favorite beach in the Nayarit area, maybe in even Mexico so far. We will show you what makes this beach so great and why you should come here. We came to the beach, the water is beautiful, the temperature is so amazing to swim in. It's November and the water is perfect. This beautiful beach town is only about an hour north of Puerto Vallarta, 25 minutes away from Sayulita and 15 minutes away from San Pancho. The beach here is just incredible. The town is not very known yet, but that is changing fast. People who are tired of the big crowds in places like Puerto Vallarta, Sayulita, and San Pancho to some sense, is starting to turn to this hidden gem. This town offers a long stretch of soft sand beach with a lot of activities and without the crowd. We stayed in this town for a month and we would never felt like this beach was overcrowded even on weekends. The activities you can find here are paddle boarding, surfing, fishing, and horseback riding. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> and it's already starting to meet up there. And the night time later on, all that that we're standing right now on is gonna fill up with water. The Marcos, beautiful place, sunset time here, and a cocktail time as well. Gorgeous. Salud, guys. Ceviche. Today, there is a turtle release. There is some people volunteering here and they just 
collecting the eggs and they keep them in an incubator so they can hatch safely and then they just releasing them to the ocean. There you can see little turtles moving. Towards the other side of the beach. South side. South side. <laughs> we saw somebody recommended to be there for the calmer water, I guess, less waves or more shallow. So we're gonna check the other side and see which one we like more. Are we gonna like both? The south side of the beach is where most people go to enjoy the shallow and calmer water. Here you will find a few restaurants right on the sand. One of the things that I like the most after being on a few beaches here in Mexico is the lack of vendors coming to you every few minutes to sell you stuff. There are only a couple of them here. One of them sold delicious pastries and we looked for him every time we went to the beach. But that will change soon after more people learn about this place and turns to another Sayulita and loses its authenticity. That adds a more more reason to come here quickly. On this side is where you can find the best waves if you want to surf. For those who want to learn to surf, at the very end of the beach you will find Atrevete Surf School with the best instructor and the best prices to rent and learn. The class costs 800 pesos for around two hours or so and they will teach you how to get up and surf safely. What a pro! Wow, he's holding the fish and he said, I'm not gonna let it. Look how big it is! Everybody's getting married, two beautiful ladies. Woo, congratulations. Look at the view they choose to do it. Beautiful sunset on Lo de Marcos. What a magical place. I love this place. It's just unreal how beautiful it is. Here I am, from all the way to the end of the beach. Nothing here. Nothing here. And it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. The sound of the waves. A lot more than what I expected from um, the YouTube videos I will see about here, about Lola Marcos, and wow, it is 
amazing. I mean, this place is breathtaking. The and today, gorgeous weather. There's clouds covering the sun. It's not that hot. So the waves, the water, temperature is perfect. I mean, if there's a, a temperature for a, how do you say it? Is there a perfect temperature for water is this one? It is just beautiful. It's kind. It's like a small place. Nah, not much going on here. Not much at all. Can get the fresh fish straight from the people that just caught it. Uh, some boutique stores. I mean, but it's tiny. I mean, there's no big supermarket. All the supermarkets are here. Are like some mom and pop shops. That will sell you eggs, milk, cheese. I mean, what you need. And you come here for the beach. This is what you come here for, for the beach. And it is, it has not disappointed at all. I mean, Lo de, uh, Lo de Marcos. Not a lot of people know about it. People usually go to Sayulita. Which is also beautiful, but wow, I mean, I mean, it is gorgeous, not packed at all. I'm at the beach, only a few people are the, at the beach. Water is that the waves are a little high, how I like them. Vika doesn't really like it like that. Vika likes it more calm. I like it like this. More fun. It is, wow, just magical. Magical. It is, wow. I can't even say it in words. I am so amazed. Just how, let me just say it like this. I saw it was, Beautiful, so it was nice one of the YouTube videos. But so you can really see, you really have to be here. You have to be here because you have to get what you saw, what you're seeing now in YouTube video and multiply by 10. Multiply by 10. It's just gorgeous. You have to be here to see it. You have to get out and travel and I'm just starting my journey and I'm, I'm so excited to start my journey to travel. What else I can see? What else is out there? And not disappointed. Mexico, gorgeous people, amazing. I mean, I we will show you more. We're staying here about a month. And you see the little crabs walking around. We're gonna stay here a month. We're gonna try to show you as much as we can. And stay tuned.